One of the things that you have to pay attention to, one of the things that you need to know is that when you're, when you're improving as a person, when you're moving towards the right path to have a better future, you know, the first, the, the, the first signs that you need to pay attention to is not really what's going on in your bank account or what's going on in your wallet. If, you, if, 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 if my bank account growing, if my wallet growing, that is usually something that is eventually going to start getting better and growing. But when we're talking about immediate, immediate things that are going to tell you if you are becoming the kind of person that can really... Um, that is really aiming higher, that is really growing up, and that is really getting better, is the things that, it's the things that if you're growing up as a person, things like, am I becoming more, am I, am I more patient? Am I more, more um, selective with my friends? Am I more selective with what I do with the time? And, 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 and many, many, many things that we can do with the time, and many things that we can do, um, the way we choose the people we want to hang out with. One very clear reason that that you are becoming more mature, that you are growing, and that is, this is something that is massively going to help you, is that you you start you you when you see yourself becoming more select more selective of your drama time. That's a clear image that you are moving that that you're not you're not happy with just going for anything you know like you could have been in the past when i'm talking about being selective of the drama time means you don't lose your head you don't get into you simply don't lose your head you don't get mad at things that in the past you will easily blow up for something you know when you find yourself seeing things that you just kind of let them roll off your back and say okay just move on and don't pay attention to it that's that is not something is not something it's not just something that is going to help your health and it's going to help you think clearer and it's going to help you make better decisions and it's going to help you filter the time the people the situations the conditions the places that are toxic for you I'm gonna give you an example. This morning, I went to um, I, I took my car. They, they they had to fix a they had to fix a tire. So I had I had like 45 minutes to just wander around and see if I could get something. And I stopped by a, a fast food chain restaurant, you know. And I go in and I'm and I'm asking, I'm telling the lady uh, the cashier, hey, you know what? Um, I want to have something, but it's just like a snack. I don't want to have like a whole combo or a meal or something, you know. And uh, she's like, "Okay, so you want something small, yeah?" And she's like, "And and I'm like, you have anything like like that?" I'm not. I'm not really familiar. I don't. I don't really eat a lot on those on 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 fast food places, so I don't. I'm not really familiar with their menu. And she didn't say anything at first, and then she says, "Oh well, we have X thing, you know." Okay, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't see it in the menu. And she pointed at it on the menu, but like from the distance, she pointed at it and said, oh, it's right there. So in a few words, the service was terrible, just terrible. This lady was, I mean, she was treating me like, okay, you know what? Just just get out of here. I'm, I'm busy doing nothing because there was nobody. There was not one single client in the place. Nobody in line, nobody sitting, eating nothing. The lady was just there, you know? Uh, pretty much sitting in the counter and waiting so I just I just turn around and walk and walk out you know that's a that's a that's a perfect example of a situation that m when I was younger years ago I would have been really pissed and I would have probably say something like hey, well give me give me some information tell me something you know help help me out here obviously you know that I'm not familiar with your menu but I said you know what uh, nowadays I don't waste that's 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 me being selective with the drama time I don't have time for the drama time if she doesn't want to help me well obviously you know I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go through the whole emotional process of getting into an argument with her or something situations I, I mean, in your life where you have to say you don't even have to filter it 
You don't even have to say, well, she should do this or that, or, or he should do this or that. No. You just say, you know what? I'm 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 not gonna go through this. I don't have to, I don't have patience, I don't have time for this. Simple. And and it's not patience or time, just I just don't want to. This is something that is not going to make me feel good. This is not something that is, is going to bring anything good for me. So I'm just, you know, you just turn around and walk away. You don't need to give explanations. You don't need to ask for explanations. You don't need to, you don't, you don't need to express nothing. You don't need to expect for them to say anything. You just turn around and walk away. You know, just walk away. You have to learn. You have to learn to walk away from people and situations and conditions and places and, and, and things in life that simply say, put it in the balance and say, what, what good am I getting out of this argument? What good am I getting out of this drama time? Am I going to be, sometimes you have to go through drama time when you have to fix something with your credit card and you're over the phone or you have to go in person to fix it in the bank or i mean there are situations when you're gonna you need to return something and you and, and you're going back to the store all right that's that can become drama time that you need to go through because you need to return that thing you know but there are many situations in life especially when you were young we're young and and we're stupid and get into those situations that they bring you end up with empty hands the same way you started And it's not, not even empty-handed. You even you end up even worse, in a worse situation because now you're emotionally in a worse condition and you didn't fix nothing. You know what? If, if you're dating a person that is giving you drama all the time, you say, you know what? I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't want to talk about it, period. It doesn't make me feel good. It doesn't bring me anything good. So I don't need this. I don't need kind of, uh, this kind of relationship. I don't need this kind of person. I don't need this kind of arguments. Are we gonna are, are we gonna really make an argument out of this situation when it can be fixed in a couple of minutes talking and just being congruent, you know, and honest, you know? But when you have to go through drama to, through drama time, don't let it extend. Don't let it. Don't let it. Don't, don't give it more time than necessary. And when you don't need to go through drama time, it doesn't matter who you're talking to, don't do it. You know, if you're talking to someone that is that is important to you and say, you know what, I don't think this is something that is going to take us anywhere good. We can fix the situation. Let's do it quickly. You know, let, let, let's, if we're honest and we're willing to fix this situation, if you're honest and I'm honest and we're willing to fix it, we can we, we, we can get it done in a little time. We don't need we don't need to extend it. We don't need to make it more gruesome or more painful or more or more negatively emotional. So be be very selective of the drama time. You have to be able to say, okay, this requires drama time. This is something that required. Okay, let's put on it. But the things that require drama time, don't extend it. Go straight to the point. Straight to the point and say, we got to fix this. Let's do it now and get over it. You have to be um, courageous enough and smart enough to find out what situations, what conditions, what places, what feelings. There is something, there is always something that we know that is probably going to have a negative effect on us. And we can see things where they're building up. You have to be able to say, this is not something good. I'm just going to move on. When you start seeing things that way, You grow, you're going to start growing in a lot of different areas of your personality and you're going to start finding out that you're going to feel much better. You're going to save yourself from a lot of difficult times and you're going to have you're going to have much better relationship with the people around you because they 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 gonna they're going to know you as a kind of person that doesn't put up with any crap. So they, they 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 don't they they will not bring you drama if they know that you won't get hooked to. As simple as that. Okay guys, thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye.